Welcome to the teaching of the Word of God. I'm so excited to meet you in this teaching. May the Lord bless you and listen to the teaching carefully. God bless you. May the Lord bless you. I'm so glad that we can spend time praying together according to the promises of God. Our God who created the heavens and the earth is very faithful and He loves us. He cares for us so much. And it's wonderful that we can come in agreement and pray together according to His Word. Let me read from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 12. Then said the Lord to me, You have seen well, for I am alert. God said He is alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. God said that He will perform His word. Let's pray. Father, we believe, Lord, that you shall perform what you say. You are the faithful God, your wonderful God, Lord. We come to you with faith and we trust you. We have confidence, Lord, that you will fulfill your promises, Lord. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20, the Bible says, For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through Him, the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. God will keep His promise. His promises are yes. And we say, Amen. It shall come to pass. And we believe that God never lies. We choose to have faith over the things that we see with our own eyes. We believe that God's best is for our life. We believe that the promise God put in our life will come to pass. And God is working behind the scenes. What He promised you and me is right on schedule all the time. We believe for God's blessing and favor, and we expect God to turn things around, trust Him to open the right doors. What God promised us does not have an expiration date. Psalm 106 verse 1 say, Praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Let us pray together. Let's pray to give thanks to God that His faithful love endures forever. Father, we come in agreement, Lord, to thank you, Lord, for your promise. We believe, Father, that you're so faithful. When we pray to you, when we believe in what you say, Lord, you shall act on what you say and you shall perform your promises. You shall fulfill your commitment to us. Lord, we have a covenant with you, Lord. We believe, Lord, when we do our part, you shall do your part and you shall make it happen supernaturally. Nothing is impossible with you, Father. We believe, Lord, that you are listening to our prayer together. You say in the Bible, when two or three people agree with one another, you shall answer that prayer. Therefore, we believe right now we have faith and we come in agreement in what you say. And we will never back off from what you say. We don't walk by sight. We walk by faith, Father. We believe, Lord, that you are listening to us and we always can count on you, Lord. We know you are faithful. We believe that you bless those who obey you. In the book of Genesis chapter 22, verses 15 to 18, Abraham obeyed God. He was willing to sacrifice his son Isaac as a burnt offering on one of the mountains. As a result, God promised Abraham that he would bless him and make his descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. And through his offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because he had obeyed God. Let me read Genesis chapter 22, 15 to 18. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, I like that, God said, I have sworn, I have promised, 
I make a commitment. I make a covenant. Say the Lord, because you have done this thing, you have obeyed me, and have not withheld your son and your only son. Blessing, I will bless you, and multiplying, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore, and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. In your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. Wow, the blessing of Abraham is ours when we obey the Lord. I read from New King James Version a while ago, and God will not leave us, God will not desert us or walk away from us until He fulfill what He promised. Let me read again Genesis 28, 13 to 15. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, your father. He was speaking to Jacob, the God of Isaac, the land which you lie, I will give to you and your descendants. Also your descendants shall be as the dust of the earth. You shall spread abroad to the west and to the east, to the north and the south, and in you and in your seed, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land for I will not leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. Wow, what happened? Jacob tricked his brother Esau to get the firstborn birthright. He was afraid that Esau was going to kill him, so he ran away from his father's home, and he seemed to have no future now. He did not have anything. He could not have anything from his father's house. I believe he has one stick and one backpack, but God showed up while he was lying on the ground and gave him the promise that God will never leave him and God will bless him and bring him back to the house of his father. And many years later, Jacob came back to his father's house with a lot of herds, a lot of camels and a lot of sheep and God fulfilled his promise. Our God is the God who keeps the promise. He has the blessing for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we are the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob by faith through Jesus Christ. Let us pray together. Number one, we're going to believe that God will give us grace to be able to obey what He said. That is to love Him, love one another, serve Him, and do what He said in the Bible. Let us ask for the grace and the power to obey. Father, we ask You, Lord, to give us the power to give us the grace to be able to obey what you command us in the Bible. That is to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul and spirit. And we will be able to obey you to love one another and we serve you. Whatever you say in the Bible, we're going to do it, Lord, by your grace, by your power, by the help of the Holy Spirit, Lord. Help all of us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray together that the promises of God will be fulfilled, that we're going to have the blessing of Abraham, physical blessing, emotional blessing, mental blessing, spiritual blessing, family blessing, the blessing that goes down to the thousand generation, and the ministry blessing. Let's believe that God will pour the blessing on us, just like He did to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let us keep our covenant with Him and do our part. Father, I come in agreement with my brother and sister right now that as we obey you, serve you, seek you, honor you with all our heart, Lord, you're going to bless all of us, Lord, with the blessing of Abraham. And we believe, Father, you shall take care of our work, our study, our education, our job, profession. You take care of our family, our health, our finances, Lord. We shall be the blessing to the nations. You shall open the floodgate of heaven and pour your blessing upon us, Lord. We believe, Lord, you keep your promise that you gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The blessing will go down to the thousand generation. Our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren will love you, know you, touch them, Lord. Show yourself to them. Show your mercy to our children, Lord. We believe, Lord, that the blessing will come 
so much that we cannot have a place to contain it, Lord. We believe, Lord, that you give us victory. People will call us the nation of blessing, Lord. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, it's so wonderful to pray with you. Let us obey the Lord. Let us honor Him, walk in the fear of God, love Him, and He will bless us. And we're going to see the blessing in our life. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord give you strength and grace to be able to honor God and obey God. Thank you so much. God bless you. I will see you in other Praying God Promise series here. Please like and subscribe the YouTube of New Hope International Church. And God bless you. The Bible says, God demonstrates His own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I'm so glad that God loved you and me so much and He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. And He loved us so much that He feed us with this spiritual food. And I believe that you shall experience the blessing of the Lord when you obey His Word. Thank you for listening to this teaching. Listen to other teachings in this series. Build your faith by hearing and hearing of the Word of God. Thank you so much. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that you are healed from sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus Christ, your curses are broken and you are free from the bondage you will be filled with the blessing of Abraham that will overtake you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that the poverty have to leave you and God's blessing come upon you. May the Lord shower into your life His grace, His blessing, His joy, His faith, His goodness, His favor, and you shall know the Lord your God in the intimate way. You will be the people of faith that the Lord will answer your prayer and God will get all the glory. I command that the mountain in your life must be made flat. And you shall have supernatural breakthroughs in your life. The provision, the healing, the victory of the kingdom of God shall follow you. And you shall be his witness in this generation. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jehoshua Hamachim.